If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable coins, make sure to check out my sponsor, redzonecoins.com. Use code Noble at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Link is in the description. What's up today, my fellow man soldiers? So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is showing you guys which is the best free golden ticket you should choose and when i go through these golden tickets because there's so many what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to go and i'm going to skip over the players which you're going to see because i'll show you guys and i'm going to pick the best ones it's probably going to be like the top 10 first or maybe just a little bit more over that and then i'll go ahead and show you guys which is the best one because i'm not going to go every single player there's so many of them but what i will do is i'll skip through them because i'm going to show you guys who i feel is the top players and then i'm going to go ahead and pick the best one so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it so for those who want to know real quick how do you guys go about getting this free golden ticket let me go ahead and show you guys this because some of you guys may have to ask that question like okay well where'd you get that fantasy pack at because sometimes uh well not sometimes but originally the free golden ticket fantasy pack came when you pre-order the game but this isn't the one i'm talking about so let me go ahead and show you guys because even though i consider that one free too even though you pre-order the game because you know they're gonna if you're gonna pre-order the game anyway i mean i guess they're gonna give it to you for free so here we go right here uh, it's just by leveling up all the way to 55 golden ticket player fantasy pack is it, it is auctionable so for those who out there who still need rookie premieres and stuff like that um this is a way you're going to be able to get them get this free golden ticket you can sell it and so forth whatever you guys want to do with it or just keep it for your team that's why i'm gonna show you guys which is the best one me personally i'm gonna keep it for my team i'm gonna show you guys who i'm gonna keep and i'll show you guys which is the best one right so and the reason why i'm gonna keep it because there's one of them that i want to keep for my cowboy theme team even though there's actually quite a few cowboy players which i'm pretty uh um happy about but i already got most of them besides one so let's go ahead and go through them let me just skip through all these animations real quick and then i'm gonna come back around and then we'll go ahead and go through them. but you see how many golden tickets there are we'll be here all day if i went through every single one of them so we don't care for matthew stafford but we will go through j ron curse so let's go ahead and uh, check him out real quick He's one of the top ones and one of the best ones that you guys can actually use as a safety. But you see, you got 98, 97 speed, 90, uh, yeah, 98 acceleration, 97 tackle, 95 play rec, 96 pursuit. Look at 99 man, 99 zone, and 99 hit power. So this is a very decent card. I actually been using them. Um, I haven't used them as middle linebacker, but I'm gonna use them as safety. But either way, either position, put him in. He is actually good. Um, don't care about Lee, LaShawn McCoy. Don't really care. Don't think he's a great. Uh, golden ticket but randy moss definitely year after year he seemed to be a good card you don't hear here from that much this year i don't hear that many people you know like really i don't really hear his name that much i'm not gonna lie which i usually hear a lot about him but there is a lot of other good players too though so he is 6'4 98 speed which to me in my opinion like come on now they should have it's a golden ticket they should give him 99 speed 98 acceleration 93 agility 99 jumping 94 play rig 99 man 99 zone and 99 press so at least he got to all his coverage they're all 99 so that's actually pretty decent and then we're gonna go to julius peppers which is a free safety i guess this is a good morning madden pick that everyone picked so he definitely has to be one of the top ones look at this 67 as a free safety 98 speed 99 acceleration 97 tackle 95 play rec 98 pursuit 95 man 99 zone and 99 hit power so that's actually will be not only as a safety i would probably put him as a middle linebacker i'm not gonna lie that would actually be a good card as a middle linebacker colin johnson which was it this year or last year i think it was this year right where this guy was insane on on the playing field so definitely a good card to be looking at six six wide receiver 97 speed 92 jumping 96 catching 99 catching traffic 99 spectacular 99 short route 96 medium route and 99 deep route so definitely a decent card that Deion Sander who he went up against that Deion Sander man I really love that card John Runyon I'm only going to show this card because his stats were so insane I couldn't believe it but just to let you guys know I was told I haven't used him that he, someone said that he wasn't all that I don't know so don't quote me on it but I want to show you his stats though because I really felt that he was worthy to look at when I first looked at him I couldn't believe it so we got nice speed look at this 99 accelerate all 99s all 99s i couldn't believe it 99 acceleration 99 strength 99 tackle 99 play rig 99 block shed 99 power move and 99 finesse move so i don't know how we how, how good he is but people were saying one well one person said he wasn't all that when i mentioned him 
but that's one person though. But look at those stats though. Those stats are insane. So definitely worthy, in my opinion, to at least look at. Um, okay, we're gonna skip over that one. I do like this Carter here, because I have him though, so he's been playing crazy for me. So I will go through his card. Another 6'4 safety. Um, and the reason why I we a lot of people choose a lot of six four safeties, if you guys don't know, is because they use them as middle linebackers. So they're not really looking at them as safeties, which they're good at safeties because that's where I got them at. But linebackers, because they want taller linebackers, and safeties have the best animation. So that's the reason why a lot of people go with safeties and they look at the height when they pick them. Now look at it, nine nine acceleration, nine nine tackle, nine nine play rick, eighty seven pursuit, which is horrible. 99 man, 96 zone, and 99 hit power. But I will confirm that this card is actually really good because I use them and I got them on my squad. Lamar Jackson, definitely going to be going over him. From what I was told, he was the best um, golden ticket. We'll find out. But a lot of people said that he was a great card. So I will say that. 99 speed, which definitely he should have. 98 throw power, 97 th uh, throw accuracy short, 98 mid, 97 deep. 97 throw under pressure, 97 throw under run, and 99 play action. So pretty decent. I mean, I feel a lot of other QBs got better stats, but a lot of people said that he was actually pretty decent though. And then we got Michael Parson. Or Michael, Michael, Michael Parson. 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 91 strength, 95 tackle, 95 play wreck, 99 block shed, 99 power move, and 99 finesse move. So. Definitely worthy. You guys know that already. Great card on the have on the squad. And then we got 99 receiver sauce card. Nah, nah, nah. Skip over him. Uh, mean Joe go. Mean Joe Green. We'll go over him. See how good he is. 95 speed with 64. 95 speed. 99 acceleration. 99 strength, which is good. 99 tackle. 96 play rate. 98 block shit. 99 power move and 99 finesse move. So that's actually a pretty decent card. Pretty decent card. Isaiah Pacheco. No. 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 Joey Porter. Nope. Mike Vick, though. We'll check out Mike Vick, but I haven't heard really too much noise from him. But I don't want to say n nothing negative, though, because I have no idea. But check the. Whoa, 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 what? Bro, all 99s, though? I'm not even going to read them off because he got all 99s besides the throw under pressure. Everything is 99. I want you guys to let me know how that card has been playing for you because them are all 99s right there. That's another one that I see with all 99s besides the throw under pressure. Then we got Terrell Suggs. So let's check out this card. 95 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 strength, 98 tackle. So everything else is 99 besides the finesse mode. So pretty decent card. And once again, another, another good linebacker. And you only got one to pick from, so we got to be very careful with this. Tyron Matthew, pretty decent. Ryan Shazier QB, though? I have never seen this guy's stats. Hmm, this would actually be a fun car to use, though. Look at this. 99 speed, 99 throw power, 95 short accuracy, 95 mid, 95 deep, 99 throwing pressure, 99 throwing run, 99 play action. So I'm going to be honest with you guys, right? This car right here, to me would be just a fun car to use. Like if you guys just want to have fun, then honestly out of all these cars, I would definitely pick him just to have fun with him and to have him on a squad. That's what I will say or if you're running the theme team, right? But to, just to have a fun card, I think this Ryan Shea Zero will be something fun to run around with. Um, Isaiah Simmons, we'll go ahead and look over him. All right, 98, 99, 97, 98, 99. All right, so a bunch of, and this is a 6'4". What is he a cornerback or because I know he's a safety, right? But what do they put him as right here? Oh, a cornerback. So that's actually a pretty decent card. Donald Parham, cornerback. Here's the thing about the cornerbacks, though, that are very tall. They run funny. They really don't play the way I think, but I'm not going to say he won't. But let me know if he did. But as a tight end, I'd let you guys know right now, he was great. So I really, I really believe they should have kept him as a tight end because he was really insane at that. But as a cornerback, I won't say he's going to be that OP because I know a lot of tall quarter, cornerbacks, they really don't function that great, at least in my opinion. 97 speed, look at 99, 99, 99, So he has a lot of 99, 99 press and everything else. So pretty decent stats, but I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pick him, especially as a number one, just based on the fact that how a lot of these 
talk cornerbacks and stuff like that, how they work. John Randall is usually pretty good. Dak Prescott is a very decent card, but he's not going to be one of the top ones. So I'm not depth. I mean, I show you guys his stats real quick. I use him. He's good for me. But I, I'm not going to be. I'm going to be honest. I literally only picked him because I run a theme team. That's the really honest truth. So you see right there. Stats are, are stats are very decent. But once again, though, there is better QBs when it comes to stats at Golden Ticket. So that's the reason why. Harold Carr, Michael, he's worthy to look at. He's going to be the card that I pick because I run a Cowboy theme team. So he's going to be an extra additional card for the squad. But I can't run him and his middle linebacker at the same time. So I'll have to switch him out. But he'll definitely be one of the ones I pick up just because I run a Cowboy theme team. But that will be the only reason why. But all his stats are decent, though. But once again, though, I'm not going to pick a corner back that's tall because I don't think that they function that well. That's really what it comes down to. I just don't think that they function the way they need to. It's just they're tall and that's it. Mm, 99. So every... Uh, oh, that Beckham card looks pretty good, but it don't seem to be like... I don't know. Let me know how you guys function for you. But, I mean, according to stats, it doesn't look all that. Um, Justin Fields, no. DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf seems to be a good card. He has a good balance of... Just enough to height to where he'll function good. Speed's decent. And all coverage is in the 99. So that's pretty good. So he'll definitely be one of the cards to be looking at. And I like how they didn't change his artwork. They're just lazy and at it, whatever. But I want to look at this guy right here. I don't know who this guy is. But because of that, he's worthy to check out. 98 speed? 6.8 though? 99 acceleration, 91 agility. Look at that, 99 catching, 90 change of direction, 99 trucking, 99 break tackle. Pretty good, pretty good. And then Jerome Bettis will be the last one. I know there was quite a bit of cards, but I definitely wasn't going to go through every single one of them. Okay, 97 speed, 99 acceleration, 94 agility, 99 carry, 82 catching, 96 change of direction, 99 trucking, 99 break tackle. All right, now that we went through those, let me go ahead and pick up my... I'm, I only could pick one because you're only going to get one of these cards. So let's just go ahead and pick one. So out of all the cards that I win, who would I go with that I feel would be the number one pick? Honestly. I have to see. I got two cards in mind. But once again, though, I would definitely pick the Ryan Shazier if you guys want to have fun. That would actually be an interesting card to go around running with having fun, considering he's a middle linebacker. Don't know who picked him, but I think that that would be an interesting card. But the cards that I'm looking at is between, not even Randy, I'm not looking at even Randy Moss. Colin Johnson is a good card, but really, Lamar Jackson and Micah Parsons. Them were the two cards that I'm looking at. So I'll give you guys two options. If you need a decent QB... Go with Lamar Jackson because I heard nothing but good things about him. And he got great stats with stock 99 speed, which is good. Michael Parson will be a decent pass rusher as well as a good coverage linebacker, right? So if you, so once again, the best card to me out of both of these, honestly, will, I will have to go with Lamar Jackson. So if I have to pick, it will be Lamar Jackson out of all the golden tickets. A lot of you guys have very opinions. You let me know who you guys pick. I will go with Lamar Jackson. But if, if you guys don't need a, a QB, then go with Michael Parsons. So that's one thing I will say. So I'm going to leave it right there. Um, and last but not least, if there is a, one of those golden tickets that are going for more coins and you just need a coin, then just pick the golden tickets who's going for the most coins to get you guys some coins, whether you need rookie premieres or not. So without further ado, I'm out.